Over 300 residents of Amuwal Dauphin local government area of Lagos received palliatives to cushion the effect of the four weeks lockdown orders of the federal government aimed at curtailing the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. The beneficiaries were mainly the aged market women and indigents in the four communities that make up the local government. Chairman of the local government, Valentine Baraimo, disclosed that there had been previous phases of distribution, explaining that in the first phase, 100 families benefited, and this is the second phase, and we're reaching out to at least 300 families. Earlier, we spoke with the chairman, Amuwa Dauphin local government area, Chairman Engineer Valentine Baraimo, and he had this to say. Thank you very much. Uh, immediately, we got directive from uh, the Minister Resident Governor. Uh, Mr. Badis Olu, all the council chairmen uh, move into action immediately. And uh, what I did was that uh, we make provisions for the NCTC doctor that was sent to the local government. They are the ones to look into the cases of people uh, that are showing the symptoms of COVID 19. Mm -hmm. So, to that extent, I brought them uh, a very good. For logistic purposes to take them to the northern cleaning uh of local government where uh they are being called upon for anyone's anyone that showed the symptoms of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And from then that anyone that was confirmed will be taken to uh do the proper tests and if confirmed to taken to the assistance center. And that we've been doing uh, 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 as it progresses then then in that case we we'll state that uh we have to uh, detach the taxes that's okay, that they will be going to their house to test them. The ones that are not confirmed are positive, they will take it to a theater. And of course, what we did to our people at the lock, uh, during the lockdown was to provide a uh, stimulus uh, food package for our team uh, population in the local government, particularly the targeted, uh, injured, uh, the vulnerable, the poor, and the, the, uh, the widow. So, and we did it in about four phases. And each phase um, is totally less than 5,000 uh, stimulus food packages that was taken to the community leaders. We go to the Khan, the League of Imam, the CDA, CDC, and also the resident transition. And with this, we are able to get to the new campaign of the community and the targeted audience that the, 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 the stimulus package is meant for. Mm -hmm. And that is why in our world of it, everything was well packaged, everything was, was well distributed, and there was no hiccup in anywhere. There was no complaint from any quarters that they did not get uh, the food to them. So, and others, people that also partner with us, you know, in the area of this uh, stimulus package, up to Abulado, where we have the, the pipeline explosion to uh, we have some uh, uh, the, 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 the Lagos team, the new Lagos uh, uh, organization that gave food particularly to the residents of Abulado, Otei, and Soba, where we have the pipeline expression. And we took the food repackage to them to the Oba, the Oba, uh, Oba Alado of Ado, the King Latif Ado, Afabua. Uh, is, is a paramount uh, upper in that uh, vicinity to uh, uh, his palace when I get to the residence where the food packing relief was shared to the indigent people of that community. So, and other two, uh, where many uh, NGO and organization to also partner with us in the area of uh, food package that was well distributed to the uh, audience, that is, the, the, the aged, the widow, the vulnerable, the poor right. among the, among talk us within the community. All right, and to that about, extent, that's let's what talk about are, testing, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, All right, Mr. Chairman, in terms of testing and the test centers in your local government, what is it like? Yes, Abu Dauphin is the uh, center that comprises five local governments Abapa, Abu Dauphin, or Job. I just if you don't do I'm that way. So I I move here at the center where people come to conduct their tests and their result is being sent to them to their phone. And that has been ongoing as we are speaking. They are still here in the local government secretariat. People are still coming 
to do the test, and the result will send to them via their phone number. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, uh, are people in the local government's area observing the protocol and procedures for, you know, prevention of COVID-19? Because we do know that, yes, uh, places like that, you could get a lot of people moving around. What is it like in terms of, you know, all the procedures that the government uh, ha has said that everyone should maintain? Yes, uh, we did enough publicity to that effect. We did uh, radio jingle. We do open van campaign and we do a, 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 a community campaign to the nook and cleaning of the communities in Amoda government. And to a greater extent, there's having a compliance in the of that government. Except some uh, very bad movements uh, that have to do with people working at the MPA, MPA, which are allowed to work during the COVID 19 uh, uh, pandemic uh, matter. And to that extent, too, I want to give kudos to the uh, our security operatives. Being the, the Nigerian police, civil defense, DSS, and up Mesa, who are up and doing to contain people to stay uh, in their various uh, houses and to stay safe. So that, I mean, with that, we have to contain and uh, and contain the widespread of COVID 19 in the amount of federal government. And today, we thank God that, I mean, uh, the cases we have in the amount of it uh, uh, is, is, is the manageable case. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, that. I mean, the, lead, the few people that had it have been treated, and some of them have recovered, and they are working normally. I mean, uh, I mean, within the uh, 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 back to their family, and they are, I mean, doing their normal life. But, right. uh, government. So it has been high, uh, high level of compliance in our mode of that government due to the strict uh, advance by security operatives and also to uh, the advocacy. We are between at the, at the left to make sure that people uh, are listening and, and stay safe and stay at home. Former governor of Abia State, Oju Zokalu, is still in Kujay prisons in spite the judgment of the Supreme Court. The apex court, it was learned, did not issue any order for Kalu's release because he did not file any application for such. The judgment only covers the appellant, Ude Jones Udeugu, who challenged the propriety of a court of appeal judge, Justice Mohammed Idris, to try him. The Comptroller General of Nigerian Correctional Services, Jafar Ahmed, consequently refused to release Kalu because there is no any order from the Supreme Court in this regard. Reports gathered indicated that Kalu may have to approach the Court of Appeal where he has a pending matter to ask for his release following the dismissal of a judgment of the Federal High Court, Lagos, by the Supreme Court. Also in the news, a New York federal judge has ruled that Nigeria can subpoena 10 banks in the United States for information the country needs to prosecute government officials allegedly connected to a British Virgin Island engineering firm's bribery scheme and subsequent $9.6 billion arbitral claim. The Nigerian government at last month asked the court to compel the banks to release account details of former President Goodluck Jonathan, his wife, patient, former Ministers of Petroleum Resources, Diazani Alison Madweke, and Rwanda Lukman. The banks listed include Citigroup's